Hey, it's Courtney with the Highly Sensitive Badass, and for today's daily love note, I want to talk a little bit about where we're showing up as a victim with our sensitivity. And this came up on a client call today, and it's just such an amazing topic. I'm actually going to, after this video, sit down and make it an official blog post video uh, for my upcoming newsletter about this topic because I think it's huge. So this idea of being a victim to our sensitivity. So I have noticed one of the biggest shifts that I ever made was finding empowerment around, well, everything in my life, but I was really showing up as a victim to my sensitivity. And this was showing up as figuring out like, oh, well, I can't do X, Y, and Z because of my sensitivity and using my sensitivity almost as an excuse or blaming it for reasons that I couldn't show up for myself in my life and using that almost as my excuse to not do things. But I really believed it was a legitimate reason. <laughs> so there's a difference between using it as a crutch and using it as, a, as having an actual reason for something and not to undermine that we are sensitive. However, I want you to ask yourself if you're using it as an excuse not to show up or if you've created this really negative identity around your sensitivity. And I think many of us have because we have noticed where we feel limited by it. So today I'm going to ask you to look for the strength in your sensitivity or better yet really to start looking at where you're being a victim to your sensitivity and where you're using it as a reason not to show up for something in your life or using it as an excuse but you may be calling it a reason. So look for that today and I'd love to hear from you to see if this is something that has impacted you uh, or if this is resonating for you and I hope this was helpful today. I hope you have an amazing day. Jabby look at him. He's I call him Jabby and Jasper. He's pointing. Well, he's not really pointing because his tail isn't out, but he is noticing something. And he will stand like that for um, like many, many minutes, like 20 minutes or so. He's just literally stood still and just stared at something. Anyway, so Jasper and I are sending you a lot of love today, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.